Hey, do you want to hear about anime about an adventurous trio that goes to the dungeon for a mission to beat a dragon and then something goes horribly wrong and now the party must regroup and save their friend and learn how to eat in a dungeon along the way? If it's not like anime for you, then let's check it out. Let's go. Delicious in the dungeon. Roll the intro. Today, the anime review, Delicious in the Dungeon, starts off with adventurous knight Leos led a small party through an endless dungeon, except running a maze full of dangerous monsters and precarious traps. Through the use of advanced magic, an explorer can sometimes be resurrected, allowing them to learn from their past mistakes and give traversing the dungeon another go. However, when a powerful dragon eats one of their comrades, feeling Leos spellcaster sister, she sends her brother and his companions back to the game to save them from permanent end. Though so, strapped for cash and equipment, Leos resolved to fight his way through the dungeon and rescue Phelan before she can be digested by the dragon. But despite his allies abandoning him, two remain by his side, an elf mage, Marceline, and a halfling locksmith, Chuluk. And due to their lack of funds, the party faced the dumpet process of starving before being able to complete their quest. However, they find a salvation in Sensei, a dwarven warrior with a penchant for cooking safely, eating defeated monsters. With some of its culinary experience, Leo and his companions struggle through the dungeon while learning more about gourmet dining and each other along the way. This anime, about 24 episodes, it does have a second season but it yet to be released yet. It aired January 4th to June 13th of 2024. Based off a manga series, genre is adventure, comedy, fantasy, and gourmet. Each episode is 25 per minute and rates R and 17 plus for violence and profanity. What I really like about Delicious in Dungeon, the food is interesting because like I feel like no matter what environment you or if you're like traveling to like a different country, I feel like it's always important to try the local cuisine, the local delicacy. In this case, it's the dungeons. And like, you know, you can't let good food go to waste, so why not try the food in the dungeon, you know? And what I really like about it is that the food looks really good, even though some of the names are a lot because of the monsters that they have to eat along the way, both visually and interesting. What a great story to follow. I feel like dungeons are very... It's a good staple for fantasy genre in anime, as well as the adventures and trying to conquer many levels in the dungeon, the rays of dungeon exploration. And I think in Dungeon, a mischievous world, it's said to be like, in this particular, where you have a party of four people, a knight, a halfling, an elf, and a dwarf all in the same party, and you have to realize like they don't know not much about one another. And it's really interesting to see how... You know, each dungeon level they go through, they learn more about each other. And that's how they form their bond and their partnership along with, like, you know, exploring more culinary eats. Because they're not used to, like, eating monsters in, in some cases. And I think it's very important to show that bond of development between all the characters in that span of 24 episodes. Which I think is a really nice touch of seeing how each of the characters developed. Especially when it comes to their mission of trying to save their friend be, who, from being adjusted by a dragon. But I think it's very important to have the character development of all the characters interact with one another. I think that's what's really good about it. And I really appreciate, you know, taking that slow pacing, having each party member get to know each other just a little better when they're going on this mission to rescue a fallen comrade. And I think if you like that type of atmosphere, definitely check out Delicious in Dungeon uh, down below. Let me know what you think about it. And I give this anime 8.9 out of 10. I can't wait to see where season 2 takes us and if they see to saving their friend. And we see more delicious food along the way. Until then, take care, have a great day, and see you next time with another anime review. Until then, bye!